Um, John, good to see a, a tuna win for, for your side. Uh, I imagine you're really pleased with that. Yeah, pleased with the result overall. Uh, thought it was uh, a lot of hard work from the boys. A team that's been, that you know, won their last two. I think it's three clean sheets in the last four. So you know, to score two goals against them is really pleasing. And overall, to get the win, be on 56 points, which I can say we've reached our target, and uh, that's really pleasing. Yeah, um, I was going to ask that question because you hinted on Friday that you, you were close. So, was it 56 points or was it lower than that? It was 54, actually. Um, and uh, yeah, there's various reasons behind that, but 54 and, you know, to to eclipse that is um, is really pleasing and, and testament to, you know, all the staff, the players. You know, it's, um, it's what we wanted to do and that's what we've worked you know, all season four and with four games to go to, to you know, beat our targets, really close. Is there any reason why 54 was the target in particular? Um, yeah, the, uh, <clears throat> I think that for, for me it was important. I think uh, the last time uh, the Cobblers stayed up uh, in League One, it was 50, 53 points or something like that, is that right? And then I'll, I'm gonna go one better. I'm, something like that but that was so long ago it feels when i looked at all the stats and what have you and yeah it feels like a lifetime this season i'll tell you um, but but you've got there you've got there with, <coughs> with four games to, to spare as well um but we're not at the end of the season yet i'm sure we'll have a, we'll have a look back but it's afternoons like this where you've got a side in Port Vale who are fighting for their lives and they've been in good form and they really need something to, again to have a professional performance and still be at the, hitting those levels even though know, the position you're in must be really satisfying. Yeah I'm really pleased with the boys today we obviously changed shape and match their physicality as well and went 3-4-3 and obviously um, on the left side you know because we lost Bruffy and you're trying to get uh, Ali back fit but I had to make the decision and play Mitch there and it sort of paid off because he, he scored a cracking goal and you know a late run there and um, but I felt the way we sat in shape really strong and you know intercepted balls and broke on them and uh, I, and I felt that was really important and then the reason why I wanted to play three centre backs is match their physicality because uh, Jesse Deborah's got that ridiculously long throw and they pile it in your box but they didn't do that as much today um, so but overall it, it, it felt like it worked yeah um, Mitch Pinnock at the left wing back he gives you so much going forward just naturally as you'd expect scored the goal brilliant run and um, defensively he was pretty good again today as well yeah look it, I, I think over the years uh, the boys have been brilliant in, in, in their versatility and you know, you ask him to do a job like, you know, Sam last year a couple of times, he's first of the top scorer in the league and he goes and plays wing back or right back for me. And that's through the injuries we've had and the boys are adaptable and, and they just, they do it. And it's an amazing thing about this group, really. You, you mentioned it there, you showed kind of all, all different aspects. Um, there was time to be controlling the game um, with the back three in particular in the first half, but then your goals come from your kind of trademark that up all the energy to counter attack and then you the shape and, and repelling the, the direct play as well you must be happy with that yeah it was everything we you know worked on in the turnaround because obviously I, I felt we played really well in the in our back four shape at Reading uh, the other day yeah we could have been a little bit better in the final third I thought our finishing was a, a bit off but I thought we played I was really pleased with that performance in terms of the pressing there and like I said on the day no one does that to them I, and to then work on that within a day with the, with the group and for them to do what they did today that is really pleasing yeah um clean sheet for Lee Burge uh, back in the side today as well he's obviously had a difficult season with, with injuries so how happy you been for him <laughs> absolutely uh over the moon for him today because uh you know we we tried to play out and we got caught and it's going to happen if, if we do, and we weren't we weren't we weren't so fluid in that first 20, 30 minutes. We we gave a bit away, and Burgie had one or two um, really good saves uh, that he made, and yeah, I was really pleased with him. And you know, uh, and obviously it's a bit harsh on Louis, but um, you know it's football, and he's come in and probably had more games than he ever expected, and he's done well. Uh, but Burgie's now fit, and you know uh, just needs to prove he's fit from now to the end of the season because uh, we know what he can do.
on that point there, well, we heard from him a few moments ago. Um, he said, obviously, I'd, I'd love to stay, but also acknowledged the fact that he has been injured for, for a lot of this season. How important are these next four games for him, for your perspective, in terms of his, obviously, his contract expiring at the end of, end of this season? Yeah, look, <clears throat> you know, we've got a lot of players to look at um, uh, within our group, uh, first and foremost, and uh, and that's what we're doing. Um, and and Bergie's certainly one of them. And, uh, you know, when he's been available uh, and fit, he's done very well for this football club. And uh, I'd say, you know, last year he was certainly exceptional. Um, and, and that showed, you know, to come back probably two months out there, two and a half months out, and be as sharp as that today, it's testament to the work James, uh, our goalkeeping coach has done with him and, and the, the work that Burge has done to get back to it. Uh, and, and generally, um, two clean sheets in the last three for you as well, which is, I know, I know something that's important to you, um, times this season you have, you've had the just really disruptive defence and it hasn't been as strong as it usually has, but a couple of clean sheets and against some good teams as well. Yeah, really important, mate. Uh, we've let in too many goals for my liking uh, this season, but obviously, you know, the constraints we've had on the back line all season, we've had we had to play two keepers that have made their debuts in, in, in League One as well, and, and but they've done well, but we've just had to chop and change constantly, and it's been um, yeah, it's been really frustrating, and that, I, that's contributed to uh, the goals against, really, but, you know, to get it today, um, and, and have two and three through the kick. Uh, Liam Moore came off at half-time. Um, how's he? Yeah, uh, yeah. He's, uh, he's hurt his shoulder, I, I don't want to speculate, but um, yeah, it doesn't look good at the moment. Um, just finally, looking ahead, obviously, um, Carl, coming here on, on Saturday, you've reached your target for the season. Do you set a new target for these next four games? Do you, How do you kind of keep that going for, between now and the end of the season? Yeah, if I'm being open and honest, we set another target uh, three or four weeks back. Uh, to, to get that when we talked about a couple of weeks ago to get that edge back um, with us and, and the boys um, we did some things where they set the target themselves so we've got a, another one to move on to and um, I feel it's important that we finish we can try to finish the season strong well, it's okay.